Hey everybody, my name is Ethan Blue. I'm the owner of Blue Reviews LLC, and I am a licensed contractor here in the state of Wisconsin. Uh, this is my review today on the cross manifold system. Uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar, manifolds are used in several plumbing applications, but in this case, it's being used for in-floor heat. And uh, the cross manifold is just a really unique and interesting system that I wanted to share with you. Uh, because I think you might find it useful perhaps on your own project. So what you're looking at right now is a basement laundry slash utility room. Here you have a Utica Mac uh, 205 combi boiler. So this handles heating the home as well as uh, the hot water, the domestic. So for showers, the dishwasher, stuff like that. Um, over here, you can see there's the cross manifold right there. And then you can see here are all the supplies there. And then there are all the returns. Uh, you can actually pipe this either way. You can have the return here and the supply on the other uh, hub pipe or whatever. It doesn't actually matter. But to kind of show you how this is all connected before we get into how this cross manifold works is, so here we have our boiler. Um, and then down here we have this line is our supply line. Okay, so that carries the hot water from the boiler up here. And here we have a air separating unit. This is to get air out of the um, heating system. That's one of the biggest culprits that you have as far as having problems with your heating system. Uh, then we have a circulating pump. This one is actually pumping up. Uh, the pump we're looking at today is this guy right down here because this is what's pumping down and it pumps down through that pipe so we're still on the supply side up through here and then it supplies right into here and here's the valve to close off the supply here's your supply hub line and then you have all these supply lines that sort of come down here and then they tie in to, so here, I'll just show you this one. This is a, so really, I should also mention, this is not PEX. This is PEX LPEX. This is a layer of PEX, a layer of aluminum, and then a layer of PEX. Uh, this is a very nice product. It's made by Henco, and I will be doing a separate review video on this if you're interested, but it is a great product. This is kind of interesting because... Um, this is what's called Entron 3 pipe. This now uh, has been, the, this technology has been purchased by Watts uh, Radiant, and they now make a product called uh, Onyx. Um, but right here, I'm just tying together the PEX LPEX and the Entron. Um, the, this can be tricky. I, I did have some leaks on these, so it took me a few tries to get it right. Really a self-tightening clamp. Um, is what was on the old Entron system. Personally, I liked these cinch clamps because I felt like I could cinch them up better, but your mileage may vary if you have a, a similar situation. In any event, uh, there's a supply, and then you know these just go down in through the basement floor and runs through the whole basement, and then we can just follow you know any return right up back here, and then our return lines go back up into here okay so pretty standard stuff for a manifold system uh, I really like the cross manifold system I want to point out some of the cool um, things that that are unique about it one is that it's an all-in-one system so it, it comes with these parts and it also comes with this control board up here uh, the only thing it doesn't come with are relays and for those not familiar, uh, anytime you have a circulating pump hooked up, if you, you want the pump to run at the same time the boiler kicks on, you need a relay uh, to do that. Um, one thing that was really cool about the Cross Manifold Company, I will say that their customer service is really good uh, because I was under the impression that there was built-in relays into the control board up there, but I was wrong. And I contacted them and said I was doing this job with two circulating pumps, so I have one pump going up for the main floor in the upstairs and then the other pump going down for the uh, basement 
and I, you know, explained the situation. They said, oh, yeah, you need these two relays. There's these tiny little relays right here. Uh, one right there and one right there. And uh, I purchased three cross manifolds to do uh, the whole house. And they just sent them to me for free. They're like, yeah, give us the address and we'll we'll send you off the relay. So shout out to Cross Manifold. That's pretty awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, I purchased these from supplyhouse.com. I will put a link in the description. Uh, one thing that's cool about the Cross Manifolds, you'll probably notice I don't have any zone valves on here at all. That's because the zone valves are built right into this system and it's a unique drive system. Um, so I'm going to actually take the cover off here to show you how this works and then I'll click on the heat and uh, show you how the control board shows what's heating and uh, show you how this all works together. So to take off the board or the cover, you just unscrew these guys. See if I can find a place to safely set this. cover just slides off. It is kind of heavy and you will also notice that this cover is uh, connected to the control board. That's because it drives this arm in here. So this little black piece on this arm moves back and forth on that drive shaft which can open and close these valves. So if the valves are set at black, they're closed. If they're set at blue, they're open. So I will get this screwed back in and then I'm gonna turn a thermostat on to show you what it does. But you can see the little arm in there moving. And that's what goes along and uh, opens and closes these valves when it either calls for heat or tells it to shut off. Okay, so I'm gonna go out this room out here. And here's a thermostat right here. And I'm gonna just crank this bad boy up. Oops. So I have that set to 75, just cranked it up. So if I go in here, one thing I want you to notice is the lights associated with that zone came on. So you can see how the wires are daisy chained there because it's opening multiple loops or multiple valves. So if you need to open multiple loops, you just daisy chain them together. So hopefully, I know you, there's a little bit of a reflection there, but hopefully you can see that arm moving in there. And it actually, if I go back here, you can see it did open that one already to blue. So that line is open. And it has only opened one so far. So the big selling point of this obviously is no zone valves. And also Cross says that this can run mil like millions of times without maintenance. Uh, and it it's supposed to draw quite a bit less electricity. So as you can see, that one just opened. So I apologize for the reflection. I know it's probably tough to see. So now you can see I have one, two, three open. Uh, four open now, actually. And that does line up with the lights on my control board. Okay, so now all these guys are flowing and you can, you know, you can hear my pump going. That's bringing water up into the supply. That's going over and sending water through here and then returning back up. And then for the open zones, so I have one, two, three, four opens. That last one 
open you can see on that side that's all flowing now and going down through the return the return is there goes down there follows that line up to there and then flows right back into the boiler okay so the big selling points of course this is an all-in-one package fairly easy to install um, no zone valves a nice control board uh, so yeah they are a little bit pricier but they are with the exception of the relays they are all in one um, so I I really like it uh, it was you know not a lot of leaks a couple of leaks that I had it was just because I didn't have a fitting quite tightened up right or maybe I didn't have enough like tape here or whatever uh, so overall I highly recommend this product uh, cross manifolds customer service is excellent and uh, I think it'd be hard to go wrong with this product. So thanks for watching. Uh, this has been another review for Blue Reviews LLC. If you have any questions, please let us know. Thanks.